So it's now four hours until the race and I am feeling ready. Uh, I'm soon gonna walk over to the stadium. It's 2K away, but everything is now ready to go, packed. Gonna use the same shoes as I did two weeks ago. Also have a fresh headband here for the, for the race. And also the weather looks quite good at the moment. It's probably like 15, 16 degrees in the air. With small chances for rain. So the track is like 2K in that direction or that direction maybe. So I'm gonna walk over very soon. Good morning guys, it's now 4.22, I have a taxi that goes and pick me up in 8 minutes after barely a few hours of sleep, heading over to Austria for the first camp this post-corona, which is going to be good. The sun has already started getting up. Welcome to Austria! <laughs> oh, Austria, yeah. Austria, yeah. Austria. So, let's forget the race yesterday. What do you say, Aril? Uh, I think we should forget it. That was embarrassing. It's not so good. No, just think about it all the time. Go it was uh, embarrassing to watch live from, uh, from your computer. Yes, it was embarrassing. But right now the Cultural Olympic uh, Confederation is calling me to complain about your bad pacing and stomach problem and everything. Yeah, so it wasn't a good race yesterday. I think <laughs> I went up 20 seconds per K, first one compared to the last K. So, um, but uh, at least it was a try. Now we are here in Vienna for a few days of training before we have a show race in Puder stuff. Puder stuff. Puder stuff. stuff. Uh, race there in 1993. The legend Ariel Tweiten, he raced there and did his fastest <laughs> Ironman. What's your PB from Puder stuff? Uh, in the Puder stuff, uh, 1993, 8 hours 51 minutes. 8 hours and 51 minutes. 
He was the first Norwegian man ever to break the nine hours on Ironman. Var han det? Var han det? Du er god under ni timer. Ja. Aril, var du første man under ni timer? Yes. He was the first Norwegian to be under nine hours, he said, here in Austria. So after the race yesterday, I think I got 90 minutes of sleep before I had to catch the taxi. And then I got like maybe two by one hours on each flight. So quite sleepy now. So it would be good to get the day, be finish off the day very soon and go to bed early. You might wonder what we are doing here in Vienna. Finally, we have a race coming up again. We will do a show race. Other stuff. There's a local guy who is going to do a full Ironman. And we will start one hour and 15 minutes, I think, behind him. And we will try to cover the same distance. We will do it as a relay. Myself, Gustav Kasper, and an Austrian girl, Julia Hauser. We will all cover one fourth of the distance on the swim, 45k on the bike, and just over 10k on the run each. So hopefully, we will be able to catch the the Ironman guy. But it's not a typical. On a typical relay, we're all doing first one swim leg each, and then it's one bike leg each, and then we do one run leg each. So it's not a swim bike run each. So here we are in Pudestov, is that what it's called? And it's getting ready for a relay race, hunting race tomorrow morning. This man is gonna do. I am done. I don't know what you're talking about. No. We're gonna do the full Ironman distance, <laughs> and we have almost two hours. We will catch up. I don't think so. So it's gonna be interesting to see how it goes on. Hopefully, Yulia will finish first, running first through the finish line here tomorrow. Yes. I think it will be a close race. It will be, uh, but uh, but of course the uh, Norwegian Austrian team will win. We are the fastest one. And the half Ironman team. Oh, 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 they goes a little bit under the ra radar, but I think they will be strong. <laughs> so on the last run session, I uh, leg, I think Julia will catch them, destroy them. And you know the order for tomorrow. You know what order we will have the relay in. I know my order. I swim last and bike first and run last. So it's not a typical swim, bike, run, swim, bike, run. It's we all have to do first the swim, then the bike, and then the run. So I think Gustav will do the first swim, I will do, and Casper, and then me, no, you will do the third swim? No, the last swim, fourth. Fourth? Yeah. I think you have the second swim. We changed it again. Because, <laughs> because I think it's better if, if one of us do the swim, bike. Okay. So you have the... Second swim, second bike, and last run. Okay. <laughs> and oh, yeah. the coach? The coach is gonna get 10 whole day. Yeah, I'll be working on my 10 lines. 
But I agree on the order. It makes sense. Ready? Mm -hmm. Christian Blumenfeld, welcome here in Austria. Current 70.3 world record holder. It's a big honor to have you here at our race. Uh, what do you think before this race? Because it's a special form and it's the first time for you to race like in a relay. Uh, like this and it's your first time in Austria. How do you feel? It's really nice to be back here and finally have a race on the schedule. And uh, also just to be kind of feeling normal life again after being stuck at home for three, four months. So, uh, so it's, it's going to be hard because normally if someone is up front, they are like 20 seconds up front. Now we have someone starting nearly two hours in front. So it's going to be like a technical game there as well. Maybe we should just go all out from the beginning to try to stress the Ironman guy to maybe he can uh, hit the wall halfway through the marathon. Welcome here, here to Polisdorf in Austria. It's really nice to have you here and uh, we're really looking forward to welcome. Tomorrow we're doing our first hunting race in Polisdorf, Austria. And I'm really looking forward to it because we have amazing athletes with us. And I'm so, so looking forward to it because it will be a new racing format. We're doing it like in four relays and they're hunting one person and he will do the solo and let's see who will be the first in Podastov at Austria Triathlon. So it's different because we have got one guy who is doing it on solo completely alone and then we have got a team that's a duo, they are sharing the long distance. And then we've got another team with Patrick Lange, he will be having three guys and then it's of course the Norwegian superstars we're having with us like they are sharing everybody's doing it one fourth of the long distance of all three disciplines and the time different that they are starting off oh, do you yeah, know it really for Norwegian guys it will be the toughest because they are more than a hundred minutes behind the solo starter so they really have to compete if they want to win